Hello everyone, we are the members of the Greek mission and we are very glad to be here. Greece is a small country but has a proud history. Ancient Greece was the birthplace of democracy, Western philosophy, the Olympic Games, Western literature and drama, political science and major scientific breakthroughs, especially in the fields of mathematics and medicine. The ancient Greek astronomers, most notably Epidoxus, Aristarchus and Hipparchus made significant advances in astronomy. Greek astronomy characterized by seeking a rational physical explanation for celestial, for celestial phenomena. The word astronomy is derived from the Greek words astron, which means star, and nomos, which means law. So astronomy studies the law of the stars and the love for that study brought us all here today. Now, let's hear the students say a few things about themselves. Um, hello, uh, I'm Eleni, and I represent a Greek Pontian or Pontiac woman. Um, I come from uh, a town in northern Greece called Veria, uh, hometown of Dimitrios Vikelis, um, uh, the first president of the International Olympic Committee. Uh, but I live in Thessaloniki, also known as Salonika. Um, uh, who was, uh, which was um, uh, named and founded by Cassandros, um, who did this to honor um, his wife Thessaloniki, a uh, sister of Alexander the Great. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Greetings from Hellas, otherwise Greece. My name is Fotis Ioannis, and I live in central Greece on an island called Evia, second largest island of Greece. It is a place where one can witness an interesting phenomenon. Anyone present can observe that the sea current switches direction every six hours due to the tidal force of the moon. Um, this year, occasioned by the 80th anniversary of the death of one of the most renowned Greek poets, Kavafis, um, we would like to present to you an extract of one of his poems that most engraved his career. Uh, it is called Ithaca, and it refers um, to the inner strength a person should display during his life in spite of the obstacles and the other devious intents he or she may face. Um, even today, it keeps reminding us um, that the monsters we should be afraid of are the ones inside us, the ones that prevent us from overcoming hardships. Um, As you set out for Ithaca, hope the voyage is a long one. Γεμάτος περιπέτειες, γεμάτος γνώσεις full of adventure, full of discovery. Τους λεστριγόνες και τους κύκλοπας. Λεστριγόνιανς and Cyclops. Το θυμωμένο Ποσειδώνα μη φοβάσαι. Angry Poseidon, don't be afraid of them. Τέτοιο στο δρόμο σου, ποτέ σου δεν θα βρεις. You'll never find things like that on your way. Αν μένει σκέψη σου υψηλή, αν εκλεκτή. As long as you keep your thoughts raised high. Συγκίνησης, το πνεύμα και το σώμα σου αγγίζει. As long as the rare excitement stirs your spirit and your body. Τους λεστριγόνες και τους κύκλοπας. Λεστριγόνιαν και κύκλοπας. Τον άγριο Ποσειδώνα δεν θα συναντήσεις. Walt Poseidon, you won't encounter them. Αν δεν τους κουβανείς μες την ψυχή σου. Unless you bring them along inside your soul. Αν η ψυχή σου δεν τους στείνει εμπρός. Unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hello, I'm Harris. I represent the traditional Corfu man. I'm from Corfu, an island of the northwest part of Greece, which is a very popular tourist resort. Corfu is a little different from most Greek cities because of its unique history and culture. It is also the home of the Astronomical Society of Corfu, the oldest amateur astronomy association in Greece and one of the first worldwide. Finally, uh, we would like to mention that this year, the seventh International Olympiad in Astronomy and Astrophysics is taking place in Volos, a Greek city, and we will be very happy to see you all there. Thank you.